Good morning everyone, this is Mayfeld Takadena and for today's video I will discuss about the different immune response of the body against infection. Immune response is how your body recognizes and defines itself against bacteria, viruses, and substances that appears foreign and harmful. Innate Immune response is an organism's first response to foreign in invaders. This immune response is ev evolutionary converse across many different species, with all multicellular organisms having some sort of variation of an innate response. The innate immune system consists of physical parts barriers such as skin and mucous membrane, various cell type like a neutropil, macrophage, and monocytes, and soluble factor including cytokine and complement. In contrast to the adaptive immune response, the innate response is not specific to any one foreign invader, and as a result, works quickly to read the body of pathogens. Next is adaptive. The adaptive immune response is the body's second line of defense. The cells of the adaptive immune system are extremely specific because during early de developmental stage, the B and T cells develop antigen receptors that are specific to uncertain antigens. This is extremely important for B and T cells activation. B and T cells are extremely dangerous cells, and if they are able to attack without undergoing a radionuclear process of activation, a faulty B and or T cells can begin exterminating the host on healthy cells. In innate immunity. Or non specific Im immunity is the defense system which you can were born. It protects you against all antigens. Innate immunity involves barrier take from harm harmful materials from entering your body. Those barriers from the first line of defense in the immune response. Example of innate response include the cover. The pattern of the cover flex depends on the nature of the evoking stimulus as well as what on the part of the respiratory tract stimulated. Next is and some interiors of skin oil. The first line of defense is your innate immune system. Level level one of this system consists of physical barriers like your skin and the mucosal linings in your respiratory tract. The tears, sweat, saliva, and the mucus produced by the skin and mucosal lining are part of that physical barrier too. Marcos which trap bacteria and small particles. In the na nasal cavity, hair and marcus trap small particles, virus, bacteria, dust, and dirt to prevent inter entry. If particular make it beyond the nose or even via the mouth, the bronchial and bronchialis contain Several protective devices. The lungs produce macus that trap particles. Skin is, lay is the layer of the usually soft, flexible outer tissues covering the body of the vertebrate animal, which, the which with three main functions. Protection, regulation, and sensation. 
other animal covering such as the anthropic exoskeleton have different developmental origin structure and chemical position. Stomach acid. Orgastic acid is a watery, colorless fluid that is produced by your stomach lining. It's highly acidic and helps break down food for easier digestion. This helps your body absorb nutrients more easily as food moves through your digestive tract. Watch this video. Special white blood cell called lymphocytes play a key role in the immune system's response to foreign invaders. There are two main groups, both of which form in bone marrow. One group is called T-lymphocytes, or T-cells, migrate to a gland called the thymus. Influenced by hormones, they mature there into several types of cells, including helper, killer, and suppressor. These different types work together to attack foreign invaders. They provide what's called cell-mediated immunity, which can become deficient in persons with HIV the virus that causes AIDS. HIV attacks and destroys the helper T cells. The other group of lymphocytes are called D e lymphocytes or E cells. They mature in the bone marrow and gain the ability to recognize specific foreign invaders. Mature B cells migrate through the body fluid to the lymph nodes, spleen, and blood. In Latin, body fluid were known as humans, so B cells provide what's known as humoral immunity. B cells and T cells both circulate freely in blood and lymph, searching for foreign invaders. Inflammatory response or inflammation occurs with tissues are injured by bacteria trauma, toxin, heat, or any other causes. The damaged cells release chemicals including histamine and prostaglandins. This chemical causes blood vessels to leak fluid into the tissues, causing swelling. This helps isolate the foreign substance from further contact with body tissues. The chemical also attacks white blood cells calling protocytes that eat germs and dead or damaged cells. This process is called protocytosis. Phagocytes eventually dies but is formed from a collection of dead tissues, dead bacteria, and alive and dead protocytes. And you will watch this video again. Total progress. These amoeba like cells are a type of phagocyte called macrophages. They're scavenger cells that can form tentacles called pseudopods to surround and inject foreign cells. Once swallowed, the cells are walled off and destroyed by a bag of digestive enzymes. The amoeba-like cells are type of pagocyte called macro Pugs. There's scavenging cells that can form tentacles called pseudopods 
to surround and ingest foreign cells. When swallowed, the cells are walled off and destroyed by a bag of digestive enzymes. Innate system discover and allergies. Immune system discovered occur when the immune response is directed against body tissues, is excessive or is lack lacking allergies involve an immune response to the substance that most people bodies perceive as harmless immunization vaccination or immunization is a way to trigger the immune response small dosage of an antigen such as dead or weakened life viruses are given to activate immune system memory Activated D cells and sensitized T cells memory allows your body to react quickly and efficiently to future exposures. Um, so we'll watch this video again about vaccine. Vaccines help to give the body immunity from infection. Different vaccines work in different ways. Some vaccines inject fragments of a virus or bacteria, called antigens, into the body. Once in the blood, these antigens circulate among the blood cells, which include red blood cells and white blood cells. White blood cells, such as B and T cells, help fend off foreign invaders. When antigens invade tissue, they attract macrophages. These are scavenger cells that engulf the antigens. The macrophages send a signal to T cells that the antigens are invading. Killer T cells gather and attack the antigens. Then suppressor T cells stop the attack. After the vaccination, D cells make defensive antibodies against the antigen. These antibodies help the cells remember this particular antigen so that they can fight it off if the body is infected again. Vaccines help to give the body immunity from infections. Different vaccines work in different ways. Some vaccines inject fragments of a virus or bacteria called antigens into the body. Once in the blood, those antigens circulate among the blood cells, which include red blood cells and white blood cells. White blood cells, such as B and T, helps find a foreign invaders. When antigens invite tissues, they attack Microbiologists. These are scavenger cells that the antigens. The mi microbiologists then signal to T cells that our antigens are invading, killing killer. T cells gather and attack the antigens. Then so superior T cells stop. Them. The attack. After the vaccination, B cells make defensive antibodies against the antigens. These antibodies help the cells remember this particular antigen so that they can fight it off in the body infected again. Compilation due to an alternate immune response and efficient immune response protect against many diseases and disorders. An efficient immune response allows diseases to develop. Too much, too little, or the wrong immune response causes immune system disorders. An overactive immune responses can lead to development of autoimmune diseases in which antibodies form again the body's own tissues.